Hi, my name is Jason Cadlick. I'm the creator of Active Woo, and I recently heard that if you don't take great care of your customers, then somebody else will. And it's a lot cheaper to upsell and cross-sell existing customers than it is to constantly have to buy new ones. Your whole business is going to become more scalable if you can consistently sell more products to the customers you already have, because then every marketing dollar you spend to acquire a customer just goes that much further. And so smart marketing is all about reaching out to people proactively and the best way to do that is with email and even SMS, which both can be done by the way using active campaign, email and text messaging. But it all starts with knowing who you're talking to and what they're expecting or what things you can offer to them. So I wanna start with a very, very basic, basic setup and then we can get into some more complicated stuff as we go. So I'm inside of an active campaign automation and for those of you not familiar with active campaign, what makes active campaign a lot different than other email software out there like say MailChimp is this idea of using a, a visual graph to help you figure out exactly what's going on and then also start to split different things based on what they purchased or didn't purchase or how long it's been since they purchased. For now, I'm walking you through the simple campaign that I have set up to just send someone an extra email after they've purchased. So we start with getting the tag applied. Now, for me, the tag ActiveWoo, ActiveWoo is the SKU of the product that, that uh, you're either going to buy or have just bought if you're watching this video again. And what that does is, first of all, I'm also running the ActiveWoo recover cart. So I remove the uh, recover cart tag. I take you out of the abandoned cart sequence, which we'll take a look at in just a minute. I take you out of the abandoned cart list and I add you to my customers list. And then I send you my simple welcome email. And that's basically it. At this point, I don't have any other products to be upselling or cross-selling. It's just a simple, simple uh, off-the-shelf thing. And if this is all you have as well, just a simple online software product, even this is still better than anything else that you'd be doing with, uh, with Aweber or MailChimp or any of the other platforms out there uh, because you can use the abandoned cart campaign. So I'm gonna jump into the abandoned cart campaign and show you how that works next. And then we're gonna get into some interesting ideas around how to upsell and cross-sell and even what those terms mean if you're not familiar with them. So here's my abandoned cart campaign and it starts with a tag that I have which stands for Active Woo Recover Cart gets added. I subscribe you to the abandoned cart list and then I wait about an hour. And so what happens is when you're checking out uh, through the abandoned cart, it looks like this. Now depending on your theme, this might look slightly different but the idea is basically going to be the same. What we do is we strip out all the usual commerce fields, which can be really overwhelming for people. When they see that, they think, oh man, this is gonna take too long, and they leave. Or on a mobile device, they think, mm, maybe I'll wait till I get home and do this on my computer. That's not what you want. You want them to check out right now. So we just ask them for the minimum information at first, and then we hide all these things to let them know that it's coming, and we give them a great big next button so that it's really simple to get going. So we tell them, you can opt in here, put in your email, and then click next. And what that does is that's now added that contact into Active Campaign, and then we give about an hour to complete the checkout. So let's jump back to the sequence and see what's happening. So we've just uh, added the contact with this AWRC tag. We've now added them to the abandoned cart list. And then we're gonna wait an hour to make sure that they complete that purchase. And then if they don't, we simply send an email and asking them if life gets in the way, if life got in the way, right? So we can edit this real fast and we can fill in their first name because we got it when the abandoned cart synced up. And so we just say, hey, first name looks like you were just about to finish getting Active Woo. And it looks like you were also about to get it for 49 bucks. So just remind them about the value of your product. You remind them why they got to the checkout place in the first place. Why did they go to the checkout in the first place? Why did they even come to your site? Reiterate the value of your product here and then give them a button to go finish the purchase. And this one, I just send them back to, uh, to the, the general cart. So if, they, um, if they're on the same computer in the same browser, the cart just loads up exactly what they had, and then they go ahead and check out. If they, if they move to a different browser, then they're back in the cart, they can go back to the shop and then purchase what they had. This can also be extended to be really, really um, interesting because you can build an email that's sensitive to what they had in their cart, either by specific product or by product category or by product tag. And that's done because Active Campaign has this ability to show uh, different tags based on uh, what tags are in there. So you can click on these and you can make conditional and then you can choose uh, if tag exists. So you can say, well, if this tag exists, 
uh, then we'll show this block of text and maybe give them a link directly back to that product page. Or if this tag doesn't exist, then, then do some of that kind of stuff. So it's really, really flexible and really, really powerful, but it can also be just drop dead simple as I've done it here, which is I'm always selling a simple product. And so we just, hey, reiterate the value of the product and give them a button to purchase. You could also give people a coupon here and with other clients, I've done that very, very successfully to put a coupon in here to incentivize them to come back and tell them they have to use that coupon, let's say within the next two hours in order to, uh, to receive that discount. So you, you drive them to finish the purchase there. So let's now talk about upsell and cross sell. And now we're gonna take a look behind the scenes a little bit of, of ActiveWoo and we'll see how those different things can be set up. So here we are in the product creation screen of WooCommerce. And we're just kind of coming up with a fake product here. So what we'll do is we'll just give this something like a demo product, SKU, and remember this will be the tag that gets added to the contact when they purchase. Now optionally, you can add different product categories. So let's say that uh, this might be, I don't know, let's say it's a computer that you're selling. So if we say that this is uh, something in the computer category, then when this product is purchased, the customer is added with demo products. We know specifically which computer they bought, but we also know that in general, they bought something from the computer category. And upsell would be something like, do you also want to buy a computer bag, right? You can upsell them into a computer accessory that, that you know they might want because they just bought something, some kind of computer. And so you might then cross sell through email with a promotion code or a coupon say, hey, we noticed you just bought a computer. Why don't you also check out a, uh, a case for your computer or uh, additional memory or something like that. So those are some ideas around a cross sell. Now you might already be using WooCommerce to do that by using their linked products for upsells and cross sells. But let's say they didn't buy the cross sell. So then you can do it that way. Or if they did buy the cross sell, again, you can use the really, really simple graphic user interface of Active Campaign to create those simple rules. So I'm back in Active Campaign now and I'm gonna give you an example of how you would set that up. So we would do tag is added. And let's choose in this case, we would do if, uh, well, I'm gonna use my tag, so I'm still gonna choose like active woo, but let's say that this was some kind of computer. And so we still start with that. And then what we might do is put in a condition. So we would say something like, well, if they have the tag, so if the contact details, and we would do tag exists, and here's where we would put something like um, what our cross sell was. So if they bought the cross sell, then we branch one way. If they don't have the cross sell, then we branch the other way. So if we did okay like this, then we would say, if the person has the cross sell, then down here we might do the upsell. Okay, well they bought the computer and they bought the bag in the same transaction. So now we know they're a really good customer. Maybe we upsell them our, um, our premium level support. So we add an email there, which would be something like, hey, add premium support. Now, if they didn't buy the cross sell, then we know they, they don't have the cross sell tag. So we, we branch to no, and we add an email over here that instead tries to sell them a computer bag instead. And these things can get really fun because after you send those emails, you can put another condition in, checking those same tags again. And if they don't have either tag, so for example, these people didn't buy the cross sell, you could then map them back and try to get them the upsell anyway. So meaning somebody who already uh, got the bag only gets one email. Hey, do you want to buy premium level support? The person who didn't get the bag gets two emails, one email. Do you want to buy the bag? Maybe wait a couple days if they didn't take you up on that offer, then offer them the premium upsell. So that's a simple example of how powerful tags can be to create upsell and cross sales via email that are sensitive to what the customer actually bought. And check this out because every time a purchase happens, the tag gets added. As these things wait a couple days, maybe you also are running retargeting on Facebook or AdWords. And so your retargeting ad successfully comes in and, uh, and they end up buying that bag. Before you send that email, you can do a check again and once again, look and see if they have that cross sell tag. And if they do, uh, then, then only upsell them the premium service. If they don't, then your retargeting ads haven't worked yet. Go ahead and send that email. Now in terms of setting up ActiveWoo, it couldn't be any easier. You simply put in your API URL and your API key here after you've entered your license code and this will sync you up to ActiveCampaign. Then you'll add a default tag, which I highly recommend that you do use some kind of default tag 
So for me, the default tag is a tag that's applied regardless of what's purchased across every purchase. And that's the default tag I use to pull people out of abandoned cart campaigns and put them onto my customer list. And then send the first welcome and wow, just to welcome them to the brand, thank them for their first purchase. And because it's the default tag, I don't resend that email every time they purchase. In Active Campaign, once the tag is added and the automation is run, if the same tag already is added but it's already there, then it doesn't re-trigger any automations. So the default tag might be something as simple as customer. Then you have uh, some other options. If you want to keep it simple, you leave these boxes unchecked. If you want to do the upsell cross-sell like I just explained, then you check these boxes to say, yes, I want any time a product is in a particular product category, also add that product category tag to the purchase. And then same thing with WooCommerce product tags, which is a little confusing, so let me just uh, reiterate which, which is the product category and which is the product tag. So again, the product categories are over here, and this works even if your categories are nested, and then the product tags are down here. So just two different ways for you to, uh, to add additional tags on top of whatever you put in the SKU. So if you want, when someone purchases, if you want the SKU and whatever products are added here, whatever categories are added here, whatever tags are added there, then make sure you check all these boxes. Next up, you can add custom fields for the billing info. By default, Active Campaign only stores people's first and last names, their email and phone number. But if you'd also like to track people's billing info, so you want to gather their mailing address, postal code, you simply check this box and it's going to push all the billing information into Active Campaign. First, it'll create those custom fields for you, and then as orders come in, it'll populate that information into every order. Next, you can also set up campaigns to say go out to your highest value customers. So each time someone buys something, you can set here a customer revenue field. I call mine total revenue. And what that does is that tracks the total amount spent over the life of that customer. So each time they purchase, ActiveWoo takes the existing amount in the total revenue field, adds their current purchase to it, and then saves the new total. So if you wanted to do a campaign, let's say once someone has spent over like $100, you could, for example, queue up one of your salespeople to give that person a personal call or send them a special deal or email or thank you, you can do that by tracking total revenue. Next, you can also track the date of last purchase. This is a great way if you know that people should be reordering. Let's say you sell something like coffee and every month you know they should be resubscribing to their, uh, you know, re repurchasing some other thing or any business really should have sort of a, a general sense of how soon someone should need to either replace or add on to their product. So once again, you can, you can create your own custom field. So I would call my last order date, something like that. And this will again create a custom field in Active Campaign, and then each time an order is made, uh, the, the date of that order will be saved. Now what follows is all the uh, settings for enabling the cart recovery, and there's a whole video uh, that, that will cover all of that extra detail. But long story short, you've already kind of seen it in the beginning of this video. It's, uh, it's possible to do a lot of really interesting things with the Recover cart. And, uh, and again, there's installation. Once you uh, buy and install ActiveWoo, there's a whole video there. We'll give you a lot of more ideas on how to use the Recover cart. Last but not least, I know a lot of you already have a lot of orders and you wish that it would be so easy you could click a button and just get all that information from WooCommerce into Active Campaign. Well, you totally can. You just click to sync all orders and then this will sync up all your past orders, including all the settings that you've put here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna save all your settings first, and then once those settings are saved, you'll run a test transaction, make sure that it's all working as it should be, and then once that's happened, you click the sync all orders. This gives you a warning too, just to make sure that uh, you, you've tested a few first and that everything's syncing the way you want it to be, um, that it's not um, sending out any emails that shouldn't be going out. Um, and once you click that, it will it'll go back through all your orders and it will uh, sync up any order that is in the completed status. So anything that's processing will automatically sync as soon as it goes from processing to complete. So this will only look for the completed orders and then any order that's already been completed, it will then be synced up to Active Campaign. So a lot of the features that you've just seen demoed have actually been from feedback of people who have already bought and are already using Active Woo. And so I hope you will also join the community of people who are really up-leveling the performance of their WooCommerce, taking better care of their customers, but doing it in a way that's automated and doesn't add a lot of extra workflow.
So let's review everything that we just went over.